After a long and hard journey of trying to find Bill's house in Goldenrod City, I think I finally found it. Well hey my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we went back into the National Park, got a quick claw, explored more of the route north of Goldenrod City, beat a Sudowoodo by spraying water on it, and then using Uproar, and we made our way to Ekratik City. In this episode, we are going to be first going here, which we saw Bill also in the last episode, so why not just go here and talk to him? Hi Jordan, would you do something for me and take this Eevee? It came over when I was adjusting Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to pl play with it? Yes. I should not talk- I should not, like, read as fast, because that makes me stutter. I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. And we receive the Eevee from Bill, our fifth team member. Yes, you heard me right. It is our next team member. So, I'm going to name this guy, and you are not going to see what the name is yet. Because that would, that would kind of spoil what the Pokemon I'm evolving it into is. Even though, if you did pick up on a certain hint from last episode, you would already know. And ooh, this is actually a female Eevee. That's actually pretty cool. I was not expecting it to be a female, but okay, it is a female. Okay, I don't know. Usually Eevees are like 85 something percent to be male. And sorry, guy who was trying to call me. I went out of the house, was going to answer it. But I kind of went out. Anyways, I'm going to meet you back in Ekratik City. That was freaky. Oh god, okay. I was I was expecting there to be more of a transition in the music when I went into Ekratik City, but no. There was no transition at all. Now, I want to actually check to see if my Pokemon are all fully healed. Yes, they are. And little Eevee's down there. You won't know who it is other than it's just a female. Anyways... The first thing we want to do here, let's go into this dojo-esque thing here. See what's in here. Hey, hey! Oh, what's going on? Team Rocket is blasting off again. Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't pay such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well then, I'll sh- Okay, oh, crap, that is the wrong person. I'll show you a great one. Woo ha ha and he, he, he's dancing. He, he, he's still dancing. Let's talk to him. Huh? Who are you? You dare to get in my way? Not so intimidating now, huh? Oh no, you make me look like a villain. Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over as the lowest Team Rocket grunt. I better leave now. Yes, you better leave Team Rocket grunt. You do not deserve there. Let's talk to Kimono. You must be Jordan, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good in at raising Pokemon as well. That person does not know what to look for in people. Oh, that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Well, okay. And what do you have to say? Maybe you're the one who actually wants to talk to me. Wonderful, you are so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy, take it. And we obtain HM03. I knew you had to do this for a reason. I just wasn't so sure. That surf, it's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water with ease. Why, thank you, man. That is really nice. Like I said, I knew you were supposed to do this for a reason, and I was actually wondering, like... Off-screen, not really off-screen, but, like, before recording this, I'm like, you know what? Where do you get surf in this game? That is where you get surf in this game. hi yi yi I'm not really liking how Jock was getting, like, all the attention now. I mean, he's not really getting all the attention. He's just level 22. He's two levels higher than all my other Pokemon, so yeah, eh. So there's a gym. We could go in that gym. Ooh, look, it's all purple and stuff. Maybe it's a different color for every gym leader. Anyways, we do want to go in up here. To this nice place called Burned Tower, I believe. Yep, here it is. Look at that nasty, freaky music here. Let's walk. Who are you? My name is Yusin. I am on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. Well, you can kind of see it below there, buddy. And you are Jordan. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know, I have tried it many times. Well, that's great, but before we do that, oh, look. 
It's Vulpix! How you doing, Vulpix? How you doing? Hey, it's time to hurt my voice. Or not. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me, who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. And... It's another battle versus Vulpix! It's the third battle! Yeah, it's so exciting! Music is amazing! Hopefully I don't lose this fight. I don't know. I started out with Jaqua at the front because he has Bite and will take down that Ghastly in no time. Maybe even in one hit. I am not sure though. Yes, he took down Ghastly in one hit. Now... I feel as if we're not going to have as much trouble with Bayleaf now, mostly because we actually are we can keep battling. Nah, I'm not going to do what I thought I was going to do. I could use Ice Fang on Bayleaf, but I do actually want to bring out Fasha. Because Fasha has Aerial Ace, and he's kind of a better flying type move person currently than uh, <laughs> Telepathy is. I really want Telepathy to learn some like Psychic moves, because he'll be a very good for it. So anyways, let's use an Aerial Ace. We should probably take that, br like, not Brick Break, we should probably take that Bayleaf down pretty easily. Oh, but then again, it does have some resistance. But hopefully it won't be as bad as the first time. Oh god, that first time. It's actually kind of funny, because if you think about it, that Bayleaf has only gone up four levels since the last time we fought it. Because the last time we fought ba this Bayleaf, it was only level 18. And now it's level 22. That's kind of funny, because our Pokemon have increased just a little bit more than that, but hi yi yi maybe this will be a problem, because Jesus, okay. I know, like, because fl my flying type isn't a stab bonus or whatever, but jeez, that is not much. I might be thinking maybe I'll have, like, better chance if I actually use Brick Break, but ooh, Magical Leaf. How will that do? Not much. Let me actually do that quickly. Let me see how br much Brick Break will actually do. So, Brick Break. Go in here and brick your break. And we actually get rid of the ref reflect, too. That was actually kind of... That was mo Oh, God, that almost killed it. But that was probably the reason our aerial ace wasn't actually doing that much now to think of it. Or maybe it wasn't. I actually don't know. Let's try an aerial ace now before we're actually killed by poison. That would be a good idea. So aerial ace, let's see what aerial ace will do now since reflect is gone. And it'll do a lot more damage. And I mean a lot more damage. Oh, you're that type of user, aren't you? Continuously using synthesis, huh? Jeez. You know, I might as well just heal up currently. Uh, yeah, let's heal up. Mostly because I don't want to actually die. No, we're not using a hyper potion. C can I actually go back? I want to go b Or, no, I forgot. I only have a po- oh, I should have bought items. Dang it. Crap. That's really bad. Because I only have a hyper potion. I really don't want to use that hyper potion. That'd be really bad. Anyways, are you going to use synthesis again? Yes, you are. And now, with any luck, if Aerial Ace actually hits, which I'm pretty sure it will never miss, we can freaking kill this Bayleaf. There we go. Ay ay ay. It was not as bad as the Telepathy one. That was a lot worse, and we still didn't even get that much experience. Now, I do want to switch out currently. That is something I really want to do. Sorry if you hear that in the background there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think my dad's doing something. And sorry about that, too, because, oh, Jesus Christ, I always mention that when I talk, some spit formulates in my mouth, and that's what causes, like, all this spit to get on the screen, and I really don't like it. But anyways, thank you for Rock Tomb actually connecting so I can, uh, get some damage out on this Zubat. You know, I might have tried using Ice Fang, like, I mean, I could have used Ice Fang, but I decided not to use Ice Fang. Now, hopefully I am, like, this confusion is actually very nice to me. It probably won't be nice to me, I'll probably hit myself, watch. Yep, that's what I thought. Hurt myself. Because I always hurt myself. I don't think Bite's gonna... Eh, Bite did a decent amount. But then again, I do have that rock-hard defense, so no matter what happens... Well... Schist, baby. Come on. You're confused. So if you miss the attack, that's not good! Because that means you have... Ah, oh, Jesus, Schist, please. Yes, thank you for snapping out... <laughs> snapping... I think Schist is causing me to start, like, putting all the sh sounds with, like, my S's or whatever. You know, now to think of it, I probably should have leveled up just a little bit before going into this battle. Ooh, Magnemite. Let me see what I want to do for Magnemite. Uh, let's bring it- ah, uh, no, let's not bring out Telepathy. That would actually be a really bad idea. Let's bring out good old Jaqua. See what Jaqua can do. Because I'm not exactly sure if we have anything really good. I mean, 
fighting type is probably good against steel, but uh, I don't know if I want to send uh, Fasha out currently. So let's Ice Fang it, see what happens. <laughs> Maybe you'll get frozen, that'll be really cool. And doesn't do much because it's resistant, but nope, no frozen. Aw, uh, Thunder Wave. Now I'm paralyzed. See how this works out. I don't know why I stopped talking there, but anyways, uh, let's just keep biting it. Ooh, Supersonic. Trying to confuse me too? A paralysis... Per 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 a paralysis and a confusion, I see. Your strategies are so great and wonderful and amazing. And now I'm confused and paralyzed. And I hurt myself in the confusion. I am just amazing. Continuously hurting myself in confusion. Right now, Jordan realizes that he probably should have uh, trained up before this battle. And realizes that this is not a good idea at this current state. So, let's bring out Schist. How are you doing, Schist, buddy? Can you do some damage to this Magnemite? Yeah, you probably could. Let's see how Schist goes. And of course, Thundershock will not affect me, so that is really good. Probably should have brought out Schist in the first place, or just kept him out. Whatever. And that doesn't do much damage either. Ah. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, you're a game. hi yi yi I am... I don't know what to do here. Because, uh... Ah. I, I think I know what I'm going to have to do. I think I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to use that Hyper Potion. I'm going to use that Hyper Potion on Fasha to get all the HP back. And then I'm going to bring out Fasha. So I can then use Fasha to attack this Magnemite with a super effective move. And hopefully kill the Magnemite. Who knew that the Pokemon I would be having so much trouble on in this fight was a Magnemite. Okay, Brick Break, there you go. Let's see how much Brick Break does. Hopefully it is super effective. Yes, it is, and does it kill Magnemite? Thank you. Okay, that battle could have gone a lot smoother than it actually did. So now I know, train up before your battles, even if you think you're all ready. I mean, I still beat him, but eh, it's not the best. I mean, okay, only one Pokemon died. That's pretty good. I mean, a lot of my Pokemon had status ailments, and then uh, there's Telepathy, who didn't even do a thing. Ah, uh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Wait, did he just push us back while he was walking towards us? That's a little freaky. Joey? No, I did not want to go to Pokemon either. What I want to do is I actually want to go to my bag and get some uh, antidotes and stuff on those guys because they're not in the best condition. Fasha's better now. And now let's actually use a Paralyze Heal. Okay? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, God. hi yi yi if that happened right there, I am definitely only recording two episodes today because I need... Okay, I did not want to do that, but eh. Might as well do this right now when I can. Hey, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Almost forgot the other one's name. And they move by hopping. You didn't know that? They actually move by hopping. And Suicune likes to talk to us directly. Oh, sorry, Yusin. They kind of ran away. Did you see it? Suicune raced by like a blur, right in front of my eyes. I've been chasing Suicune for almost ten years, but I have never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. Ecruteek's legendary Pokémon are said to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Perhaps I should stop doing the sounds. Anyway, Jordan, we will meet again. Yes, we will meet again, buddy. But first, I actually kind of want to see what is down here. There might be something down here of my of interest. And yep, there is something, but I have to get around there. And it's really dark, so I don't know if I can get around here. Let's see. Got to go down here and then go around here. Or maybe not. I think we might need some certain moves to do that. Now that we are back in Burn Tower, after we have healed ourselves, let's actually go through here and see what else we can do in this Burned Tower. Most likely because I just want to fight this guy. This guy seems really kind of important. Not really, though. Don't worry, we Fire Breathers know the true power of Fire br better than anyone. Boy, isn't that just an amazing name for a fire breather? Ned. And we found an antidote. That's something cool. Oh god, that was actually really silent there for a second. Anyways, there's another fire breather here. 
Who'da known? I'm practicing my fire breathing in the burn tower. Don't try this at home. I swear guys, I did not mean to use Ice Fang, I swear. Repels are always nice. Repels are always nice. Yep, that is my song for this episode. Even though I barely ever do songs, let's actually go to the right page for the repel and put the repel on so we can make it out of here without having to worry about running into any other wild Pokemon. Anyways, I do have to say that we are pretty close to the end of this episode because once we get to out of here, we're going to end it because, well... I know that I am probably not ready for the gym level-wise, so in between episodes, I'm probably most likely going to raise all my Pokemon to level 25. Yes, I said 25. I did not stutter. So, this has been Juddle Play saying see you later and goodbye.